Hi, it's night, and welcome to my channel. I'm gonna have a little bite of a Kit Kat. I'm gonna be not so good, just a little bite. Um, so today I went to Ulta, and I got a few things. I also got something off of Amazon a few days ago on their try before you buy program thing because i've been having difficulties with shoes lately okay i'm having difficulties i just have to put it on my foot because if i buy stuff online shoes wise it may or may not fit okay if you saw the video where i showed you guys those cute little low boots that were like inspired by like you know the um the uggs the low uggs i sent those back because they're 70 dollars and they after three days they already felt looser on my foot that's crazy so i sent that back so but a few days ago i got these sydney sydney nicole or nicole sydney uh, that's a YouTube channel that I watch quite a bit of and she had these shoes and I'm gonna tell you right now they're super cute they are a hundred dollars which is not very affordable but I do feel the quality in them when I say feel it's definitely just a sturdier material underneath at the bottom because I have shoes that are like somewhat of this color scheme it, like it's this color with like cream that I got from like Zara zara or something like that nature and i just feel like probably not zara somewhere like one of those stores and i just feel like the quality they they work but after a few hours there's just no structure to them to help keep my foot quite stabilized and comfortable they start to hurt these you feel at the bottom of them is definitely quite solid and on the inside it's quite soft so i think i'm just gonna and oh these are steve madden by the way i just i think i'm just gonna bite the bullet because i just don't have a good pair of sneakers like you know like you know when you're like a mommy i feel like you make sure everyone else is good like my husband has a few good pairs of sneakers my kids have good pair of shoes that they wear and stuff and i just need just this is a good pair because i have a little, plenty of like black boots and stuff so i just don't really necessarily feel like i need a i do have a pair of black and burgundy sneakers and then these and now i feel like i'm good I just need um like shoes sneaker wise i just need now like some sandals anyway i digress um oh and i saw some cute sandals for like 30 bucks on amazon so they're not the time for you buy though but here is my little handy dandy ultra bag as you guys know i do not buy um a lot of things at once you know money just doesn't money like it used to so I got a few things here. I'm actually quite excited for what I'm you gonna see this one? Okay. I can see what I have here. Um I'm excited for the things I did grab. I almost grabbed um a fragrance because it was on sale for like 53 bucks for the small one, and I didn't. Um, but I might go back for it eventually. Anyway, let's get into this little haul. So here's the first things I bought here. These are the Miss Spa No Slip eye masks so this one is feature so bright which is a brightening and deep puffing eye mask it has caffeine b3 vitamins to help brighten and deep puff your under eye i'm gonna mostly use this for like brightening aspects i don't really have i don't have puffy eyes they kind of actually sink it a little bit so these are great and then i have eyes on the prize hydrating and revitalizing eye masks um fused with eucalyptus and marigold extract to help smooth and revitalize eye area so this, this is i think it's gonna be good too um they were on sale so i wanted to see what i thought of them they're also woman owned um and vegan and this looks like the certified leaping bunny or whatever so i'm gonna try them out i went ahead um and got two products from elf we're gonna try them out together because I have the brow soap from e.l.f. This is the brow lift. I like the brow soap. However, I do notice there's a little bit of a white cast. 
that really doesn't bother me per se but i do peep it um so i really kind of only use it if i'm going to do my brows so yeah this is more like a gel let's see And I'm just gonna, let's pull you guys up a little more. I feel like I keep, there we go. Yes, I'm gonna keep my glasses on because I gotta actually find where I put my contacts to be honest, it's somewhere guys. I like, okay, so first things first is I like the consistency of this, that I don't have to go ahead and use uh water in order to get the product to move i like that i can just use the gel although like i said i do still like the um the soap i like this so far hmm. and i've been really i mean i actually saw the whoa glow by elf oh this is nice um in there and i was going to grab it but like i didn't next time okay hmm. i like it and then i also got the elf lock and liner and and brow cream in espresso i feel like i have this already and i'm somewhere in here and i was not the biggest fan i use the anastasia beverly hill dip bar pomade um and i do use the darkest one i just go light with it here's my problem right i have dark brows are they jet black no but they are quite dark um they're darker than the dark browns that most places offer so this is supposed to be espresso which is like a dark brown and it's a cool tone oh wait maybe not so here it looks like cool tone but in here it looks like not so cool tone so i mean i guess we're gonna see we're about to find out this is the elf eyebrow duo but for me i don't like when it's too pliable because i'm just i guess you so used to oh this one's a little feels fine um i i just i guess because i'm just so used to like the anastasia de brow pomade which has definitely got some thickness to her Oh wow, that's um, that's uh dark. Okay, that's good. So maybe it wasn't the elf one I had, cause I know Morphe has one of these. So maybe I have the Morphe. Wow, that's um, got some pigment to it. Okay. Cause I just retried. I found it somewhere in this year, and I retried it recently, and you can see the difference in terms of. Like my brows being darker than that gel. I still don't like this brush though. It's too soft. And that's like the other thing to keep in mind when you see other people talk about products. Don't just listen to their recommendation. Listen to what they're describing the product and thing as when they use it. Because what might be good for them, they're not necessarily lying to you. It just might actually work for them and it might not work for you. Um, we're going to leave my... Um, brows like that and we're going to clean them up because they are looking where is my contacts they're looking mega bush right now it's giving bush bush um let's use the elf hydrating camo concealer and i'm using deep chat snot i need to get the refill of this it just costs money and i hit pants so bloody fast guys like i as you can see i really like this um and i do i think it's a really good product it's just not affordable in any stretch of the imagination and i really don't want to grow like super close to it i did that with the sharp tape the, the tart shape tape um some years ago when it was like big or whatever and then, I don't know, back then for me, that sharp tape, sh the tart shape tape, that pricing was kind of expensive and then I would get mad at myself. Although it would take me a little while to be, to be fair, 
to get through one of those tubes even though i was beating my face often so but this i just feel like i hit pan quite quickly I'm not gonna make these perfect because um, I'm about to go shower, guys. I have to wash my hair, which is what I'm actually quite excited to show you. I have two more products left that I got, and one of them is what's going to help me wash my hair because I don't know. And you probably know about Auntie Tab. I don't even know why I'm doing this, guys. To be honest, I don't even know why I'm doing this right now because I'm really about to go shower. But um, Auntie Tab released some hair care products, and I finally managed i'm not gonna continue doing all of this sorry i can look crazy for a video it's fine um and i finally got a hold of one of the products concealer i also still really like this sephora clean um lip oil it is luscious so i went and got these lashes this is the sister nature lashes they're new from kiss but they were on sale so i guess they're not selling but this is in paper which i think is awesome right recyclable yes fluffy and wispy 100 percent natural hair easy to wear easier on the planet it does not come with adhesive, but it's fine because I don't even like usually the adhesive it comes with. But these are so like super fluffy and super nice. I like that. Like long but not too full looking. So that was cool. And then let's talk about what I'm really excited about is this right here. This is Donna's recipe by Tabitha Brown. Sweet potato pie, extra creamy, leave-in conditioner, rich and sweet. Made with real sweet potatoes, stirred with vanilla and sprinkled with warm cinnamon. The perfect hair recipe for nourishment and moisture for hair and scalp. Let's see what this smells like because people have been smelling it and really gassing it. And they say it's great so far. So I'll tell you what I smell. And then I'll eventually see what I think of it because I'm going to try it. Oh, wow. This smells really good. It definitely smells like vanilla. I'm not sure if I could tell you. I mean, I, if because I know there's two potatoes in here. I Honestly, it smells like kind of pumpkin pie where my mind would go. Although I didn't grow up eating sweet potato, and but sweet potato pie is delicious. But it does smell like that pumpkin-y, sweet potato-y, like, sweetness, right? Because you sweeten it with, like, vanilla and cinnamon and sugar and stuff. Oh, it smells so good. So this is supposed to be a leave-in. So I'm going to wash my hair with regular. But it's got vitamin A and omega-3 fatty acids. So, yeah. So yeah, that is that sweet potato extra creamy living conditioner. I'm gonna go out for her now. But yeah, that is oh, and I also want to talk about this. I really like this. This is the black girl sunscreen. It's like 15 bucks. I just feel like everything's expensive. Although 15 bucks, there's much more expensive concealer. I mean, uh sunscreens out there, but this black girl sunscreen is a vibe. It does okay. So here's my thing. I'm gonna use just a pinch. Because I use like six of these dots on my face and I go three at a time because it does start out white, okay? And then you have to sit there and it's fine because it does um sheer out completely. Like there is nothing um left when I see. Seeing all my pores and my dark marks, don't judge me. Like you see now i like this one because i feel quite hydrated after using it um and i do like the unseen sunscreen i think it's ratchet um that for the price of this freaking sunscreen look upon all the, the the letter them uh, um is fading out that's absolutely intense to me and i've had these around the same time but this is 40 spf um so this is super goop and I like this one. I do like it. It is barrier safe, right? Hold on, am I telling you guys lies? No, non-irritating reef safe. So 
um that's cool and what's cool about this one is look at that so there's i really don't the time i spend rubbing in is significantly less because there's nothing to even buff out and i feel like it does like a little bit of a blurring effect on it and so i do like that um however the price point this is twice the price of the black girl sunscreen Oy. to be to be fair to be fair that is a lot um and they have the same shit in here literally the only difference is in within the, the percentages so you have <laughs> Avo benzoin which is both three percent in here and then the other one that's the same as the octosalitate which is five percent for both but then the homosalitate is ten percent in the black girl sunscreen and only eight percent in this one and then the octocrylene is four percent in this one and only 2.75 percent in this one so um to be fair i don't know what the flying f difference is between all of those uh ingredients however in terms of like the percentages that are put in them and what each ingredient active ingredient does but i do like these i like them both um this has to, this has this shows me all of the inactive ingredients i don't see inactive ingredients on here so okay anyway that's all I want to talk about. I feel like I'm talking for a hot minute and I only have three things like to just show you guys. But yeah, I've been really liking that. Those um things. The sneakers, yeah, I'm gonna have to buy the bullet ugh, and buy them. They're cute. I saw them and I should have known I was gonna like them. Of course, if they were uncomfortable, I would that this would be a different conversation, but they're not. And it is Steve Madden. And I do have I've have or had. No, I think I still have them. No, I don't. I did have some Steve Madden shoes before and they worked very well. So it is what it is. Sometimes you just got to spend a little extra coin to have the quality. Because sometimes the price it really does hit with the quality. Sometimes it doesn't. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this whole video. If you liked it, go ahead and give me that like button. Right? Hit that like button. Subscribe. Join the family. Talk all things like fragrance, skincare, self-care. Mm, and we like to chatter here, to be honest. <laughs> anyway, hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.